Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus in Scottsdale, Arizona. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how your tinnitus might actually be increasing your stress levels. Coming up. If you have tinnitus, then you know that there are times that it can really just drive you crazy. For me, trying to fall asleep at the end of a really stressful day, only to be met with my ears ringing off the charts, is not really a great way to rest and relax. My own tinnitus can also really bother me when I need to focus and be free of distractions, which can really cause me to start stressing. The fact of the matter is that tinnitus and stress are about as tightly linked as you can get. In fact, you can check out my video where I explain how increased stress can make your tinnitus worse that will be linked down in the description below. But I'm often met by patients who swear up and down that their tinnitus is the source of their stress and not the other way around. Which is why today I'll be telling you how your tinnitus could actually be increasing your stress levels and what that means for you when it comes to getting some relief. But before we do that, if you could take a quick second to give this video a thumbs up, it really brings videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, tinnitus and stress are linked in many ways, but here are the five main ways that your tinnitus could be increasing your stress levels. First, tinnitus is largely out of your control. Your own tinnitus may sound more like ringing, humming, buzzing, or crickets, and it may present itself at all different levels of intensity. But it can really raise your stress levels when it feels like you have no control over how loud your tinnitus seems or when it's the most bothersome to you. Uncertainty about when your tinnitus may seem louder or more bothersome to you can make you more anxious, which can increase your stress levels overall. You may also feel helpless when it comes to how you perceive your tinnitus, which definitely doesn't help with stress levels at all. Second, tinnitus can increase your stress because it's mysterious. A quick internet search about tinnitus will suggest all different kinds of root causes and contributors that could be the reason for your ringing. These include untreated hearing loss and loud noise exposure, head and neck injuries, TMJ disorder, certain ototoxic medications, the list goes on and on. Without definitively knowing the cause of your tinnitus, this could create some room for concern that something worth managing is going left untreated. What's worse is that many healthcare providers have an extremely limited understanding of tinnitus. This means that many people are told, oh, tinnitus is incredibly common and you'll just have to learn how to live with it. Without answers on the cause for your tinnitus or how to go about managing it, you may be left worrying and stressing about the ringing in your ears and how it will continue to impact you over the months and years to come. The third way that tinnitus can increase your stress levels is by interfering with your focus and concentration. Many people have no choice but to work, study, or live in environments that are very quiet, which may make your tinnitus much more noticeable. I know during grad school that my tinnitus always seemed to be the loudest in those dead silent exam rooms. Without anything else to keep my ears busy and distracted, I felt like I had no choice but to listen to that incessant ringing in my head. I felt that this had an undeniable impact on my ability to focus and think clearly. This, of course, did not improve my stress levels in this situation at all. The fourth way that tinnitus can increase your stress levels is by interfering with your communication. Many of my patients report that the ringing in their ears can seemingly make it harder for them to hear. Now, generally speaking, the reverse is what's actually true here. What I mean is that oftentimes tinnitus is actually the result of untreated hearing loss. But because the ringing is actually filling in for missing sound, it's easy to assume that your tinnitus is the reason that you're having a hard time hearing. No matter whether the chicken or the egg is to blame here, the fact of the matter is, is that difficulty communicating requires so much extra brain power, and it can really just be exhausting. Everyone knows this feeling if they've had a phone call with someone who had a particularly strong accent. Stress levels can rise after just a few minutes of a call like that, let alone after an entire day. And the fifth way that tinnitus can increase your stress is by messing with your sleep. Sleep is perhaps the most important need that any human could have right alongside food and water. High quality sleep is restorative not only for your body, but also for your brain, helping you with memory and focus and 
and managing stress. Like most people, you may notice your tinnitus more when you're trying to get to sleep, since the ringing and buzzing sound seems to be stronger in quiet environments where there aren't really any other distractions. Whether you've already had a long day or you're gearing up for a long one the following morning, difficulty falling asleep because of your tinnitus is just about one of the most stressful things that you could have to deal with. With all of these factors to consider, the question then becomes, how can we prevent tinnitus from increasing your stress levels? Well, we have to do what needs to be done to mitigate your tinnitus. The first step in this process is by obtaining a comprehensive tinnitus evaluation. During this visit, a tinnitus professional should be able to ask questions and complete testing that could help determine if your tinnitus could be medically treated. This might be by, say, undergoing physical therapy for TMJ disorder or by treating underlying hearing loss. In the absence of necessary medical intervention, there are many other options when it comes to treating and managing your tinnitus. Exercise and movement can have a major impact on tinnitus perception, as can mindfulness and breathwork strategies. There are even tinnitus technologies, such as sound therapy devices and the newest tinnitus treatment option, Linear. All of these management options can help you reduce your tinnitus, which in turn can help you reduce your stress. And because they are so closely related, many of these strategies help to reduce stress, which, surprise, surprise, can help reduce your tinnitus. And this relationship is exactly what we focus on at Modern Tinnitus. We know that there is a strong link between stress and tinnitus. This is why we go as far as measuring different biomarkers that can indicate high levels of stress that might need focusing on through treatment. Using biometric tracking of things like exercise, sleep quality and quantity, and heart rate variability, we can determine just how well your body is currently managing stress. We then use that data to provide helpful strategies and lifestyle modifications that can reduce your tinnitus and overall reduce your stress levels. This often occurs in combination with some of the latest and greatest advancements in tinnitus technology to reduce the ringing in your ears using the most comprehensive approach possible. I know personally that the ringing in your ears may be driving you crazy and might feel like the reason for your increased stress levels. If your tinnitus is just stressing you out, just know that there are many different tinnitus treatments out there to help reduce your tinnitus, reduce your stress, and help you to lead a healthier life overall.